This exercise works the full pull and the rear. You'll feel the burn in your arms and in your legs, as well as in your core. Crawl across the ground like a panther stalking its prey. Once forward and once backwards is a single repetition. Execute three sets of ten repetitions. Maintain the crouch position. Keep the legs cocked like pistons. Press up is a push up with your legs spread wide. Note how her knees bend, pushing her back up to a standing position. The dip is just a bend of the elbows, and it engages the triceps. A repetition consists of a press up and a dip up. Execute three sets of ten. Speed up once you get the technique. Note how she transitions from the press to the dip by swinging her leg under. The swinging of the leg turns the body to the opposite direction. This maneuver is just a bronco with a sprawl. So we jump back into a sprawl and bronco to stand. And bronco and come up. Jump out to a sprawl, bronco, come up. This works agility, and as you go faster, it becomes cardio. Strength in the upper body and core are required to execute this technique as you are balancing your weight on your four arms and upper body. We do two sets of ten of these. Your bronco should be low in the beginner version. Your heels kick up to your rear and then bring you to a low crouching position. out to the side. Pull your legs in to match your hands. Maneuver from side to side like a sidewinder. Stay on your toes. This technique works the core first and foremost. Crossing from right to left, on all four limbs, it's a stride. Note how the back leg crosses behind, then switches up the cross in front. Front, then back. Front, then back. Technique is important. The technique as she steps back allows her to stretch her rear leg. to left is a single repetition. 